In this video, we're going to see what happens to the pH of a buffer solution after some strong acid is added and also after some strong base is added. We know that buffers are defined as solutions that can resist and maintain a fairly constant pH despite addition of small amounts of strong acid or strong base. And let's see if we can mathematically prove this to be the case for our buffer solution that we made up in the previous video, which was ethanoic acid of a one molar concentration and also the ethanoate ions, which came from sodium ethanoate, the salt of our weak acid. And we had a concentration of those guys of two moles per decimeter cubed. We worked out that it would have a pH around the 5.06 point on our pH scale. Okay, so first off, let's add a centimetres cubed of HCl, 5 molar concentration HCl, to a portion of our buffer solution. In this case, we're going to take a measure out 250 centimetres cubed of it. Fairly large portion in this case. So first thing we want to do is work out how many moles of protons are added. Well, we can assume that because it's an HCl, it's all going to dissociate ionise and it'll all make H plus ions in solution. So therefore, if we have one centimetres cubed of it, divide that by a thousand to get it into dm cubed and then multiply by the concentration and that will give you 5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of protons that are floating around in the water. They'll probably be floating around as H2O+, plus, as I'm sure you are all aware. So what are these protons going to do? Well, they're going to see and at some point collide with the ethanoate ion, the CH3COO- ion, and when they join together, they will form the ethanoic acid molecule. So we're going to use up um, some of our ethanoate ions. And we can work out our original moles of ethanoate ion in our 250 centimetres cubed by multiplying 0.25, the volume, by 2, the concentration. So we've got 0 0.500 moles of methanoate ions and then we take off the moles that were reacted with the protons leaving us a new moles of methanoate ions of 0.495 and similarly we had an original number of moles of our weak acid in our buffer solution so we multiply the concentration of our weak acid by the volume that we've got which is 0.25 decimeters cubed that gives us 0.25 moles of weak acid and we're going to add another 0 0.005 moles of ethanoic acid to this, giving us our new moles of weak acid of 0.255 moles. So there we go, there's our new moles that we've got of both our salt, our ethanoate ion, and also our weak acid. Hmm, not much of a change, but let's see what happens the resulting pH. So we'll need to convert those moles to concentrations. So let's make sure our ethanoate ion, look at the moles divided by the total volume in decimeters cubed. I've divided by 0.251. To be honest if you divided by 0.25 you probably get your answer correct as far as the example is concerned. So we can work out our new concentration of our ethanoate ion, CH3COO minus, which will be equal to 0.495 divided by 0.251, which gives you a new concentration of 1.97 mole per dm cubed. Okay, and our new ethanoic acid is also going to be 0.255 moles divided by our new volume 0.251 dm cubed 
And that will give us a concentration of 1.02 moles per decimeter cubed. We've then got to work out our hydrogen, our proton concentration. So substitute in your new concentrations into your Ka expression. And also we've got our Ka value, we had that from the previous question. We were given that. And then rearrange, once you've substituted in all your concentrations, rearrange to make the protons concentration your subject. Plug it into your calculator. Get 9.009 times 10 to the minus 6 moles per decimeter cubed, and then convert that to pH by just taking the minus log of your answer, and that should give you a pH of 5.05 to 3 sig figs. And you can see that the pH has only fallen by 0 0.01 compared to your initial buffer's pH. So not a significant change there. A buffer is working as it should. I'm going to do the same thing, but this time see what happens to the pH after adding a centimetres cubed of 5 molar sodium hydroxide, so base this time. Let's see what happens to the pH of our buffer solution, our 250 centimetre cube portion of our buffer solution. So first of all, once again, work out your moles added. Pretty straightforward. 1 over 1,000 times 5. Oh, it looks like I've written 1 over 100 there. That should be 1,000. So that'll give you 0 0.00500. 5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. And then have a think about what's going to happen to your mixture in your buffer solution. So we're going to use up, the hydroxide is going to react with your weak acid as shown in the equation there and it will form new ethanoate ions and also some water. So we're going to use up 5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of ethanoic acid and then form a new batch of ethanoate ions on the right hand side there. So we need to work out what the change is in our ethanoic acid molecules. So our original moles of ethanoic acid is 0.25 moles. Our new moles will be that minus 0.005 moles, so 0.245 moles. And our original mole of ethanoate ion was 0.5 and our new is going to be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.005 moles, so 0 0.505 moles. Lovely. So we've got our new moles. Now guess what we've got to do with those new moles? Yep, you got it right. Let's calculate our new concentrations. So our new concentration of our weak acid is going to be equal to more moles divided by a total volume, so 0.976 moles per decimeter cubed. Our new concentration of our ethanoate ions is 0.505 divided by 0.251, our volume, so 2.0119 moles per decimeter cubed. And our Ka expression can now be used. We can substitute in these new equilibrium concentrations and see what happens to our proton ion concentration. So, substitute in your ethanoate ion concentration that we got and also our new ethanoic acid concentration and then rearrange to make H plus the subject. So we take K over to the other side then multiply by our ethanoic acid concentration and divide by the ethanoate iron concentration. You'll see the ethanoate iron concentration has gone up a little bit, our ethanoic acid concentration has gone down a little bit. Okay, 
Okay, so a proton concentration is going to be equal to 8.4447 times 10 to the minus 6. And then you can work out the pH by taking the minus log of that. And you'll see that it's gone up by only 0 0.01. So it's slightly more alkali, but not significantly. So it's doing its job and not changing its pH much on addition of a little acid or alkali. Excellent.